there hasn't been a new asset class since the bond market in 1693. Well, now there's a new asset class and it is the digital asset space. The question is, are you participating? Hey, what's going on guys? It's the crypto siege with another day in the life and the crazy life that is the digital asset space. Good morning. Happy Friday to you. What an exciting time to be in a digital asset space, huh? So Bitcoin hit the 10,000 I heard for a bit. It hit it for a bit. DIY investing says that uh, looks like 9,500 is a, um, uh, uh, Hopefully a place that stays above 9,500, I forget what they call it now. Uh, but uh, in, in technical terms, and TA terms, I forget what they call that. But resistance, maybe, 9,500. Yeah, I believe it is the resistance mark. So really, really exciting to see that happen. It's funny too, I got out of BTC at 9,200, uh, maybe even 9,100 and um, um, uh, increased our position um, with, uh, V chain, but I got into that BTC at 700, 7,000 rather, so 7,100, somewhere around there. So, in any case, it's all good. Uh, made a little BTC, which which was cool, and uh, yeah, got into more V chain. I'm gonna do an article on V chain, is an article, a video on V chain as well. <laughs> as I gotta tell you, man, oh man. So, guys, this is from Ripple, came out yesterday. Ripple dot com four slides insights it's an interesting article because it is really a uh more of a third party if you will um you know like a third party validation if you will so guys listen this is your xrp ripple daily news in zero to ten minutes let's do this so the bitcoin market btc market drives sustainable growth of its exchange with xrp so like most cryptocurrency exchanges, BTC markets experienced a serious growth spurt in 2018 when a surge of initial coin offerings inflated the digital asset market. Though this bubble soon burst, 2018 was also the year that BTC markets added XRP to its exchange as a source of liquidity for faster, cheaper cross-border payments, XRP has helped drive more sustainable growth for Australia's largest exchange. XRP has created business-driven trading volume on our exchange, says DTC Markets CEO, Caroline Bowler. So I guess BTC Markets is the name of the exchange. Companies are using the asset to make more effective cross-border payments. This use case is a real differentiator to other digital assets. Starting to come out more and more and more. It is starting to come out. The word is out. So BTC Markets are is the name of this business and or exchange. Absolutely, they are touting the real case usability, the real case, um, the real use case um, value in using XRP. Yeah, so BTC, it's an exchange, it says it, it's exchange, so. Founded in 2013, BTC Markets has been around for most of the digital assets market, digital asset markets formative years. So again, 2013, it's been around since then, okay. While the 2018 increase in activity was an exciting time for the business, Bowler is not surprised that the market has since cooled off. People were very excited and enthusiastic about the block, about what blockchain technology could do, but very quickly the perception became that these assets weren't solving any real world problems 
or offering any intrinsic value. And that is going to be the, that, right? So that kind of talk, that kind of speak, if you will, is, is going to happen throughout the, for the next five, 10 years. Tell me about the real world problems that you're solving, right? Tell me about the real world problems that you're solving. That's why on Twitter, whenever I tweet, any kind of tweet, uh, I always put hashtag real use case in there, right? That is the differentiator. That is the game changer. That is going to be the difference because, you know, there's people outside of the crypto space, outside of the digital asset space. This is the questions. These are the questions they're going to ask. And if utility, right, like Chris Larson likes to talk about, utility isn't there. It's going to be a challenge, right? It's going to be a challenge for these other digital assets. This is why Brad Garlinghouse is always saying 90% of them are going to be gone. Chris Lawson says a core group, a core group of digital assets will continue to move on, right? And if you don't have that real world use case, if 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 a company like BTC uh, markets this exchange, if small enterprise businesses like um, um, Golance, if they if they're not using the asset, right? That's what you need. You need them to be using the asset in the real world, like MoneyGram is using. XRP and ODL in the real world, right? So that, and that's going to be the challenge for these, a lot of these digital assets, you know, great ideas, great concepts. Cool. <laughs> you got this great technology. Cool. How can we use it in the real world is going to be right. That catchphrase. That's going to be the question asked over and over and over again. And if you don't have that, you know, the, the market is going to kind of swallow you up. So XRP proves its value with faster, cheaper cross-border payments. By helping people overcome the pain points of cross-border payments like high fees and multi-day settlement times, multi-day, unbelievable. XRP is a unique example of an asset with true utility. Most people recognize the problems with cross-border payments, added Bowler, especially in Australia, right? So I said it all the time, right? You know how many times on the channel I've said this, and it's so, so true. You know, when we're talking um, uh, blockchain and DLT and we're having these conversations with the people from the BIS, people from the um, World Economic Forum, people from the World Bank, people from the IMF, people from the UN, Wall Street, Right? We talk blockchain and DLT to them. This is what they're all they're hearing is this. They don't hear anything. When you say DLT and blockchain for cross border payments and how it addresses that issue, they are right all of a sudden they're as receptive as they can possibly be. But, oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, that makes sense right there. Just cross border payments is a pain point for everyone, for everyone, right? So, and, and this, this is, and, and Bowler's exactly correct, right? She says most people recognize the problem with cross-border payments, especially in Australia where businesses often need to pay suppliers based outside the country. Can you, you, can, can you see what's going on here? Using XRP to cut transaction fees and make same day payments brings real benefits and fixes and fixes the problems of the existing system. XRP is a bridge between traditional financial institutions and the new world of fintech. <laughs> and that's a quote from Mr. or Mrs. Bowler. <laughs> yeah. That is the deal. And that, again, guys, that's going to be the way that it is moving forward. It, it just, and it's going to be more and more recognized and more and more recognized. Tell me about this digital asset, XRP. How can it help us? Right. And don't forget Chris Lawson. When Chris Lawson said, when being interviewed, when being asked a question by a reporter about the Ripple lawsuit and how that was going, this dude said, yeah, you know, yeah, I think what's most important is, you know, the digital assets that have real utility. You know, like ours, we believe with XRP and the cross-border payments initially, but long term, long term, we want to create that digital asset, 
we want to have that digital asset XRP be the global currency, a world currency used throughout the world for all kinds of use cases. So don't sleep, don't sleep. Don't think it's just, you know, this cross border thing with XRP because it is not. And the world is going to be uh, is going to awaken to that fact without question. We in the XRP community in the digital asset space may know more, but the world is going to awaken to the possibilities um, of XRP. Australia is a particularly promising place for BTC markets to continue its growth. Remember, BTC markets is an exchange. According to a 2018 survey. 13.5% of the population owns digital assets. Wow, really? Huh. As a response to the interest, the Australian government recently launched a national blockchain roadmap. However, the country's traditional institutions may need more than a five-year plan after the findings of the Royal Commission into Misconduct in the Banking Superannuation annu, annuation and Financial Services Industry, which were made public in February of 2019. Hmm. People are looking for alternatives to the status quo. As a bridge between two worlds of traditional finance and innovative technology. I mean, this person here just nail is nailing it. And they're speaking from what they know because this is their business that they're in. Right? XRP has a big role to play, said Bowler. Making trading easier with on demand liquidity as a business model as its business model is based around building liquidity to ease funds movement for traders, BTC Marcus is very supportive of the on-demand liquidity that XRP provides. And the company believes that the asset will continue to drive sustainable growth for its business. Yeah. The amazing thing about ODL, concluded Bowler, is that businesses using XRP for faster and cheaper cross-border payments are driving volume through our exchange. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Which is unique in the crypto markets. It fits with our business model seamlessly and gives us a huge competitive advantage and that my friends is just what it is all about it's becoming more and more obvious more and more you know these type of articles these type of um 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 uh interviews if you will or these kind of statements these kind of uh this word kind of getting out to the, to to the masses right into the traditional business world it's going to be a game changer Wall Street is listening, right? Just like we said, MoneyGram's use of XRP and, and ODL was in fact the proof of concept for Wall Street. They were paying attention. When they heard that MoneyGram was using this digital asset, using this thing called ODL, right? Wall Street gets it, right? So they understand MoneyGram's business model. They understand what they're looking to do and how it works. And you're telling me they, they're going to use a digital asset. Yeah, they're going to use a digital asset. What is this digital asset? It's called XRP. Really? Okay. How did it go? How did that go? Quarter two reports, quarter three reports, right? Remember those? Wall Street got the word, right? Wall Street got the word cost savings, additional revenue streams created because of this use, use of partnering with RippleNet and using the ODL. Absolutely not partner, but being a part of the ripple net and using ODL, it's, it's been a game changer and it's only going to get better. The ripple, the network effect of the ripple net is a real deal guys. All right guys, listen, I am going to wrap up this video. Like I do all my videos and remind you of this old money doesn't want you to win. They don't want us to win. 
they would rather us remain a cog in their perpetual wheel of trading our time for dollars. They don't want us to play in the same playground that they play in, where we allow our money to work for us. This is our chance to win, guys. The digital asset space is our chance to win. We are in the midst of the greatest transfer of wealth in the history of man. Are you participating? Or are you standing on the sidelines? Here's what I do know, that the battle for you has already been fought and the victory is yours. Go get it. I'll talk to you soon, guys. See ya. Bye.